Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I am bringing my very first build video and this is specifically for Titans because I feel like y'all need some help after the one-eyed mass nerf that's coming. So I'm going to be doing a few builds with Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks just to make more Destiny 2 content because at the moment it's kind of dry and I don't want to just post nonsense. So build videos is obviously going to be thing a thing that I'm going to be trying to do more and more. Now... The first one that I'm going to be saying is basically Dune Marchers with Middle Tree Striker, which I'm probably going to call like the Thunderous Marcher or something. Like, that's what I think. Or like Missile, Missile Marcher or something. I don't know. I'll have a build name for it. But essentially, you're going to be using Middle Tree with Dune Marchers. And I'm going to read you the Middle Tree just in case you're not aware of it. So, Impact Conversion. Gain super energy from hitting enemies with Ballistic Slam. So... Ballistic Slam being your melee. Thunder, Thunder Crash, hurtle through the air like a missile and crash into enemies to inflict meteoric damage. And then Ballistic Slam, which is your melee. After sprinting, leap into the air and press the button that is your melee. And then slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. So that one's going to do really well with Dune Marchers. And I will show you guys what Dune Marchers is in a bit if you guys don't know. Inertia Override, which is the last perk. Picking up ammo during a slide reloads your equipped weapon and increases weapon damage for a short time. This one also works really well with Dune Marchers. So let's see what Dune Marchers actually does. So Dune Marchers increases sprint speed. Sprinting builds up static charge after melee attacking an enemy. That charge will change damage to nearby enemy. So essentially, you're gonna be running because you you actually have to run in order to do your melee anyways. So this will always proc or almost always proc. So essentially you can jump into the air, slam into a group of people, and let's say you have Thunder Coil. I'm not gonna be putting that into my build, but essentially if you did put Thunder Coil in there, then essentially that's all, all one shots. Like, not even kidding. If, if one guy gets killed, that's it, everybody else dies. It's such a good build but without without thunder coil this is already still a really good like viable option because essentially you're going to be sliding a lot to proc your inertial override and if you're like using a shotgun sniper rifle if you want to be really gross a fusion rifle shit ariana's vow it gives you a 25% damage boost. And that's not even on just the weapon that you slide on. You could be using spare rations or any anything really that doesn't have sp uh, special ammo. Just slide into it and you immediately get that 25% damage boost. It is really gross that people have been sleeping on this. Not only that, but this super is so good to shut down other supers. Not only that, but if you combine your ballistic slam with your super, you could actually slam all the way down pop your super to go to like corners oh my god guys some of the shit that i've done with that is just it's beautiful so this is the build uh if i was to recommend a loadout like weapon wise i would probably tell you to use like spare rations and like any type of shotgun because this is you're gonna be a fast boy you're gonna be running a lot sliding a lot and remember when you slide you actually get out of the enemy's radar for a bit so that's another viable thing. You could just be sliding all the time, making like making people guess where you're gonna go. But I paired this with Mindbender's Ambition because Mindbender's is stupid, obviously. But if you don't have that, Retold Tales good. Um, Badlander's really good. Or if you want to use a kinetic shotgun, you can use Dust Rock Blues. That one's really good. If you if you're really good, you could use the Chaperone or any slug machine or slug uh, shotgun a-okay gonna it's gonna melt but yeah if you're gonna use a a secondary uh hand cannon you can use luna's howl you can use kindled orchid you can use a lot of stuff this this build is so good because you can do a lot of things the only thing that sucks is you kind of do have to use a special ammo weapon so sniper rifle shotgun Fusion Rifle, Ariana's Vow, any type of stuff like that you would have to use in order to proc Inertia Override in PvP. Unless you find like a heavy brick, then yeah, you can do you can do two primaries, but at that point, that's so like far and like rare, they yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. 
So, yeah, if you do like using two primaries in this loadout, probably it wouldn't work because I, if at least I don't think a primary or kinetic ammo drops, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, this is this is a this is a nasty build, guys. Like this this could like really destroy. The only thing that sucks is if you if you guys have been seeing my gameplay, is that essentially. The meta is just so fucked right now that it's kind of hard to do really good plays with this setup because ultimately everyone's using dumb shit. So, like, the Mountaintop, Randy, Recluse, Erentel, like, it's just, it's everywhere right now. So, you could have really good matches, like, if you go to Classic, I'm, I mean, obviously you're gonna stomp because Classic's like, what, like, peer-to-peer, -peer and the regular one is like actually skill based so unfortunately my my lobbies are really sweaty because i don't know but this is the build it's an awesome build i usually have really a lot of fun with this build especially like when i really become conscious of inertia override i like slide into it and then pop out my spare rations and get some kills oh my god guys don't even get me started on like a spare rations with like multi kill clip or something like that you like it is very situational, but when it happens, it's just mm, very fucking sweet. So this is going to be my first build. Like you guys already probably know, I don't do numbers. I don't do any of that shit. So I'm telling you from a perspective of fun, from uh, does it feel good? This is probably one of the best loadouts to play as a Titan because you're one fast boy and you have so many things going for you. You like this mi middle tree striker alone has so many opportunities for you to build upon that it's i'm literally gonna have like six videos with just middle tree arc alone so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about the build am i wrong is it actually garbage let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media alex links are in the description below and thank you all very much for subscribing liking everything it really i really really appreciate it and would love to have more conversation with you guys in the comments below. I always love to comment at, like ev like with everyone that comments because ultimately it's pretty cool. Like especially when I have new people commenting or old people commenting. Like I already have a few people that I know comment more than other people. So it's really cool seeing regulars coming in and just talking. So yeah, just become a regular. <laughs> other than that, I will see you guys later.